Now let's head over to the sports side and our on the sideline segment. We all know how important proper nutrition is, but what if you're training for a particular sport or event? Should your diet be altered to suit your sports endeavors? Dr. Alan Sokoloff will give us some answers and useful tips on sports nutrition. Thanks, Carolyn. I'm here with Dr. Sock, and we're going to talk a little bit about sports nutrition, specifically dietary needs. Hi, Dr. Sock, how you doing? Uh, it's a wonderful day. I'm All enjoying right. it. That's great. So my first question for you is, are the dietary needs of athletes different from those of non-athletes? I think this is one of the real easy ones, and I like to use cars a lot when I talk about analogies. If you had a car and you just had to go to the grocery store, and it's a kind of an older car and you just had to go back and forth and maybe go up to 30 miles an hour, you could probably just put regular gas in it. But if you drive a Maserati or a Porsche or a high performance car, if you put bad gas in, that car is not going to perform well. And for athletes that put our bodies through more extreme activities, they need high test gas. So yes, dietary needs are very different and really need to be followed by athletes. All right, good to know. Now, if I'm going to be playing in a sports tournament or running a marathon and I'm carbo-loading the night before, is that gonna be beneficial for me or is that just a big sports myth? Well, you brought up something, a tournament, um, running marathons. Eating a large amount of carbohydrates the night before is fine. You can overdo it and cause dietary distress issues that will affect you the next day. So increasing your carbohydrates the night before is very important. It doesn't matter if it's a marathon uh, or a tournament where your body is being utilized for a long period of time. You definitely do not need to carbo load if you're just playing in a softball game the next day or you you're running a short race those are for people that are going to be utilizing their body and their muscles over a long period of time Great. and now after i play a game or i go through a really intense workout what's going to be better for me to replenish my fluids should i drink water or should i be drinking like powerade or gatorade okay so since we're not wearing shirts and endorsing <laughs> any kind of product typically when you sweat when you talk, when you blink, we lose water. So typically, I like to tell people to replace it with water, especially when we're talking about kids. A lot of the research that's done on the sport drinks are done on adults, and we can't take that and apply it to kids. So for the kids who really like to drink sport drinks, we usually tell them cut it in half. So don't, moms, dads, don't dump half out, save it, and use half water or water and then use half of the sports drink and then the kids get the flavor. Some uh, parents like to use water with lemon in it or just so it has a little flavoring to it but the essential part especially if it's just a game is water. For the long time activities then you could start to mix in some of the sport drinks, some of the carbohydrate drinks. It's very helpful information. Thank you very much. Back to you Carolyn. Thanks, Dr. Sock, for that great information, and what a great analogy with a performance vehicle. Now we all know how to keep ourselves properly fueled to keep us on the field and off the sidelines.